Good morning, hot dogs. Happy Wednesday. Graduation, color guard, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, there are 24 more days until graduation, so make sure to have your assignments turn in before the day comes. The deadline for all assignments differs in every class, so be sure to talk to your teachers for more information. If you're interested in doing summer marching band or color guard, there will be a call-out meeting on Friday during community in the band room. A lot of exciting things happen with the dodgeball game this morning, and if you guys are interested in watching it, it will be posted on our YouTube channel. One thing I'll have to talk about is yesterday's answer for Trivia Tuesday. The answer to yesterday's question was what was first what first show Mr. Taylor did at FHS was noises off and the winner of submission to the answer is Elijah Dick. That should be about all for me, so now I'll be sending it to Brian for sports. Good morning dogs. Yesterday the boys, girls and tra track teams had an outstanding night on Tuesday. A majority of team hit new PRs on a beautiful warm evening. We ran fast, turned left, jumped high, and threw far. The track team looks, looks forward to its final week of preparation as we get ready for a conference next Friday. So make sure you guys sleep well, eat well, and work hard. Also, the varsity baseball team lost to Tri-West to a score of 8-4 and to fall to 7-7 on the season. Carlos Lopez and Lalo Castillo both had good days at the plate. The final results weren't there, but much better ABs last night and good energy from the start to finish. Now today, we do got some sports action with the girls tennis team going to face off against Clint Prairie. They will be here at home and will be starting at 5 p.m. Also here at home will be the boys golf going to face off Lebanon for the second month conference. They will be starting at 4.30. We also have the girls softball team going to travel to Tri-West for the second month conference. They will be starting at 6. And also going to face off Tri-West will be the boys baseball team and will be also doing the Sagamore Conference and will be traveling there. They will be starting at 6. Well, that is all for me. Now I'm going to be sending it to Burge with weather. Yo, thanks Brian. Kicking things off for today's weather forecast, we're expected to see some partly cloudy skies during the morning, breaching to some sunny skies for the afternoon. The high of the day is looking to peak around 78 degrees, which is perfect, especially when you see these flags go and it's going to give a 15 to 20 mile an hour breeze. It's going to be nice out these next few days. Be sure to get outside while you can because you never know what Indiana's got in store. That's going to conclude my little yap session per usual. Now back to your hosts. For lunch today in lines one and two and three is French toast with sausage links and lines four is meatball sub. A special happy birthday goes out to Yasmin Chavez, Natalia Guido Lopez. Happy birthday dogs. That's all for the money announcements. Make sure to have a great Wednesday, hot dogs. Uh, everyone in the studio getting us these great. Oh, oh, burst fell. It did. Oh, the, it was not called that he crossed the line. The, the call was not there. Phil did not say anything. Did. Both of the teams did pretty well. Both of them did well. You know, in the pregame, I was, I was talking all about the Mills Swirl and how dominant they were. Yep. But I am sorry, ballers. I am not familiar with your game because you guys came out and did this. Coming back yep. from down 4-2 to Vanilla Swirl. Looks like this. Looks like they're the new champions. New champions. This, what an impressive run here. Ballers did have to go through some more